Shalom, my name is Shani Kiderman from the Municipality of Jerusalem. I work at the um, Department of Strategic Planning and Policy. Um, first, I want to say that I read in today's newspaper that in Jerusalem, 83% of the age group of 18 are not eligible for matriculations. As you can figure, there is nothing for us as municipality, something that we can do or use this kind of data because it's not in the resolution that we can work with. And this is because Jerusalem is not only the largest city in Israel, eight, uh, 800,000 residents, but it's also twice the, the size of Tel Aviv, which is only 400. And this um, is another challenge when we want to compare ourselves to other cities in Israel, of, in Israel, of course. Jerusalem municipality's vision today is to, produce, is to promote quality of life for its residents and to, to increase its attractiveness to young people, to investors, and to, uh, for tourists. So what we, um, what we do or what we, we are looking at in, in our uh, unit is three main things. The young population, uh, the young adults, the economic development of the city, and of course, the education. Okay, so. Excuse me. Uh, no, it's not. Mm, oh, here it is. Okay. Great. Just yes. And okay. now we can go. Excuse us. Okay, so what we do um, as producers of data, we conduct uh, surveys, uh, not only uh, by questioning our residents, but also we try to use some uh, advanced technologies. For example, we try to use data from mobiles uh, to see where, where we have, for example, if we have an event, for example, um, when someone uh, very, very important dies and there is an, uh, a funeral in Jerusalem, we try to understand what is the amount of people that get there. And do you have, a, do you want to guess someone? <coughs> half a million. So actually it wasn't half a million, even though maybe the police or some other uh, would like to, to, uh, to mention this uh, number. It was about uh, 250,000 people only. <laughs> so this is uh, one thing that we do. The other thing is that we try to evaluate our performance as municipality, uh, the different units' <coughs> performances, uh, mostly with one me uh, method methodology of uh, dashboards. Okay, we, we take a lot of uh, indicators, we put them, we will see it in a minute, in, uh, we organize the, them in, um, in dashboard that uh, takes some main um, uh, CFS uh, critical success factors. And then we try to say something about our progress. Uh, of course, we cannot compare it to other cities today. Uh, we mostly compare inner uh, Jerusalem organizations to their self. For example, schools or community centers or sometimes um, even departments in the same unit. Uh, for example, the senator, uh, uh, this, um, the Senatory Union in, uh, in, uh, unit in Jerusalem. So let's take uh, some examples. Maybe some of you already uh, saw this dashboard because it's on the internet. If there are uh, parents from Jerusalem that, has kids, uh, that have kids here in the high schools, you, you could see this and uh, have some information about the school of your child. Uh, we have three uh, uh, success factors, achievements, management, and, and 
uh, teaching and the social um, domain. And for each success factor, we're trying to, to build some uh, indicators. Of course, we have, as I told you at the beginning, a lot of problem with da data collection because what we have from the Ministry of Education is usually not in the resolution that we need it. Uh, even though some come in the re resolution, excuse me, of high school, of each school. And for that, we, um, uh, we uh, complete it with our, survey, with our surveys. Uh, for example, survey for, um, for parents or for teachers. Okay, so this is the dashboard, the educational dashboard. Another thing is a report that we, um, we collect each uh, quarter to our CEO in order to give um, some data, some uh, uh, understandable, uh, uh, insightful picture of what the municipality did at that quarter. For example, in the domain of um, parking, uh, parking services. As you can see, the only thing that we compare to is the quarter, um, the, court, the, the, the same quarter last year or other quarters in the same year. And uh, the users are, as I said, the CEO and the other uh, managers of this domain in the municipality. What I really want to show you is something pretty new that we do today with the National Insurance Institute. It's new because of the cooperation. Usually we don't cooperate in this level with other, of course not with, um, uh, or it's very rare to, to have co good cooperation with the central uh, government. Uh, not only uh, giving and uh, taking uh, data, but also building together a concept of measuring, and in this uh, uh, example, it's measuring the, uh, the poverty. This is the map of Jerusalem, and we try to map the dimensions of poverty in Jerusalem, not only as a whole city, but in the statistical areas level. What you can see here, the, the colors mention or uh, mark uh, what is the percentage of households that their uh, income per, uh, per capita income is a quarter of the median. Okay, those are the most, uh, po the poorest people in Jerusalem, the red one, okay? Right. If you know Jerusalem, the map, you can see that it's mostly Arabs and ultra-Orthodox. This is not surprising, but what else we can see here is the percentage of um, the, the households that get the it's a social benefit, okay, one of them. And you can see that it's not exactly correlate with those areas that are very, very poor. Uh, the, the, the size of re the rectangle. It, uh, this is something that we do together with uh, the insurance, uh, the, the National Insurance Institute, and with Mahon Yerushalayim with the Jerusalem Institute um, that we, uh, we, we take uh, data and uh, advice from it. And we have some other maps today. I have to say that it's very, very preliminary. We still don't know exactly how we take those maps and translate it into strategic planning, for example. But we understand that in this size of, uh, of, area, of city, we have to know things uh, in this level. So we can, uh, for example, understand the differences between the sectors, the different sectors in Jerusalem, and to know, to build our um, intervention uh, plans more accurately and, and more um, productively. When, when a city like Jerusalem that doesn't have enough uh, or a lot of, uh, um, of income or of money, uh, we have to be very, very accurate when we... And actually, another interesting thing is that in Israel today, the municipalities, the, the local government, 
is responsible for lots of lots of um, activities that uh, uh, have to do with poverty, with welfare, with education, but we don't have CBS of our own. So we usually don't get the, uh, the data in this resolution, or if we get it, we get it sometimes uh, too little, too late. Okay, we get it uh, one year or two years after um, we already have uh, another, uh, okay, so this is uh, another problem. And uh, I think, uh, okay, so this is what I just said about the data resolution. Thank you very much. Thank you.